You're watching Telecom TV from the TIP Summit at the Fuse 2022 event here in Madrid. And joining me now to discuss the TIP Academy, I am delighted to introduce on my immediate left, Christian Toivo, who is the Executive Director of the Telecom Infra Project. Jefferson Wang, Senior Managing Director, Cloud First Networks and 5G Lead at Accenture and Iago Tenorio, who is TIP Chairman and also Fellow and Network Architecture Director at Vodafone. Right, TIP Academy, first of all, what is it and how is it intended to address the challenges that we as a telecoms industry are facing? Christian, let me start with asking you. Okay, so TIP Academy is an online uh, learning um, curriculum and set of learning resources, the purpose of which is to ensure that the community of TIP uh, participants and of course the broader, broader community and the ecosystem is able to work on the upskilling of their staff, which we think is essential as we continue on the journey to open and disaggregated uh, technologies. And Jefferson, you also see this as the, 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 some of the challenges of industry that, uh, that, that we need a, 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 a dedicated online academy to address? Yeah, I think if you just look at the period of time that we're in, there's this kind of tech super cycle where now networks are completely modernizing and changing, and you're seeing these new skills that are needed. You're seeing there's softwareization or virtualization of the network. You're seeing cloud play a bigger part into this, and you're also seeing more of those IT skills that are required to do these modern networks, these disaggregated networks. And that's really the exciting part about TIP Academy, being able to kind of bring all of those skills to help not only new job seekers, help the existing network engineers upskill, as Christian had said, also helping kind of this community grow bigger. And, you know, Iago, no matter what the subject is we're talking about, what, one of the challenges that always comes up is skills and knowledge, and that seems to be common. So I, I, I guess, you know, this is the ideal time to, to have the TIP Academy. Uh, it's absolutely the case. So I think disaggregation in general uh, and everything, new technologies that we're doing at TIP, at the end, they are a transformation in the industry. Now, there is no transformation that ever happened without the democratization of skills uh, so that you know, it becomes you know, massive and it permeates the entire industry. So the, the transformation will never be complete until those kind of that expertise, the know-how, is actually uh, you know, um, rolled out to the last people in the industry who need to know how to manage the new technology. And why is Vodafone supporting the TIP Academy? So, if I can put Open Run as an example, which is the first curriculum that we're actually rolling out in TIP Academy. So, I think it's, I think it's uh, known that Vodafone has been active, very active on Open Run for a few years. Um, and we did that through TIP. And we were also the first ones to roll it out in Europe, and you know, we still talk about it, and, and that's fantastic. So we're really promoters of Open Run, and we're making it happen. But even if you look into Vodafone, and even if we have a um, collective of people involved through TIP and in the industry and through suppliers, you know, at the end, that's a limited number of people. And Vodafone is a very big company. How, as a company like Vodafone, you're gonna roll out the knowledge to your operations team, to your deployment team, to the people who actually has to install this on the field or operate it, to the people who has to roll out the software in a different way because this doesn't work in the same way as the incumbent architecture. So even like for us, we may have 20 or 30 or 50 experts in the company, but they are very busy doing what they're doing. You can't just have them off their job to set up an internal academy. We can do some, yes, dissemination of knowledge. Yes, you can, we can and we do usually webinars and some training occasionally. But if you need a set of professional resources that is effective in rolling out the, not just basic, but the deep quality knowledge that you need to do your job as an operations guy or as a deployment guy, that's, I think, where the opportunity lies. And we understood very quickly that that is an integral part to the rollout of Open RAM. At the same time, we understood that there is nothing available out there and we had to create it. So we partner with my colleagues here to make it happen. 
That's great, and it's a great opportunity. Uh, Jefferson, why is Accenture supporting the venture? Yeah, one, one may ask that interesting question. And you know, so Accenture is a 725,000 professional services company with a technology focus area. And you may say, why now, right? I, I think that when you look at a couple big trends, one, we've always been helping the communication service providers and we've always had this North Star vision that next gen connectivity is really going to be the key differentiator to actually accelerate digital transformation. And if you actually follow that thesis through and you really believe that, it's about helping the operators with diversity of suppliers. It's about helping the entire ecosystem just generate more innovation and push forward in a space that has always been very traditional in the past. Um, and when you look at kind of where Accenture has gone, when you look at a disaggregated network, We've always been supportive of TIP since I think the very first TIP summit back in Menlo Park. <laughs> um, you know, it's grown to an incredible place under Christian's leadership and under TIP's leadership and, and Iago. I mean, if, if you actually can actually see how many more participants, how much more energy is in, how much more collaboration has been put in, that's another big momentum push on why Accenture is getting involved in this space. Um, but I do think it comes down to that North Star that next-gen connectivity can be a competitive differentiator, or on the flip side, if it's not cared for correctly, it can be an inhibitor to this, and that's what we want to make sure we avoid. Absolutely, we want to avoid that. Thanks very much. And, and, and Christian, we know TIP from its, its wealth of, of project groups. So how, how does the TIP Academy fit in with the overall portfolio? So we see it as a supporting activity, call it a separate um, platform for supporting initially now the project group work and the community work in Open RAN. And the concept that is being developed with the help of Accenture and also with the input of operators such as Vodafone, we believe it's fairly easy to expand it into the other segments to support, for example, in the transport space that Jago was talking about, open Wi-Fi, whatever. And we can use the same concept, the same model and the same channel out to market where Accenture is helping us to provide that channel. Now you've spoken about the, the first curriculum being um, open run. Um, Christian, what successes have, have we seen so far? Well, I would say what actually warms my heart most is that I just the other day on LinkedIn saw a person who kind of published that he had successfully passed through the curriculum. That was a really a great moment for me. The other thing is which is kind of more mundane but as, as important is that we have five major community members, meaning corporate companies, companies, customers that have signed up to deploy TIP Academy broadly throughout their organization and for their staff, which of course means then that there is, we are building also up a base of funding that allows us to continue developing the curriculum. It must be great to see those results from, from real people who are using it and actually, actually getting real benefit out of it themselves. Uh, what about the, the longer term goals, Iago? We, what, what, what are the next steps? Where, where, where is this going to go? Probably for the first thing we um, have to do is to deepen the, you know, the, uh, the open run curriculum to, um, to make it broader and deeper, to explore more subjects, to make it more complete and more meaningful. I mean, it's obviously we picked Open RAM because it's the hottest topic right now. But it's not the only topic, and we are also rolling out other technologies. And you mentioned Open Wi-Fi. Um, today we mentioned disaggregated cell site gateway, for instance, transport in general. So all those also need to um, have an integral approach to the rollout of skills across the industry. So rather quickly, I think we need to expand the um, catalog to include other domains that may not be open run, but they are equally necessary. So um, I think that may happen on the midterm. Now, long term, um, I think if I can share you know, my personal vision and ambition for this, I think I would really love this TIP Academy to be the go-to place when you're looking for innovative, disruptive technology training that it, you know, you can think of things like, you know, disaggregation in the network, but why not? You can also think of things like metaverse connectivity, like APIs um, on the metaverse, like metaverse applications and programmability. Um, I think it'd be really nice if what we started um, this week that we announced that we're starting the metaverse project group ends up like broadening the um, catalog of TIP Academy to that extent.
Yeah, that, that's the really exciting part. When you look at the innovation opportunities here that are all based off of this modern network and how you can build off of that. I mean, just thinking about how the network has to change, right? It's entirely changed from the radio, the transport to the core and what you put on top of it and the entire nature of the network. Yeah. I mean, Yago mentioned APIs. That's not something that the network industry has been used to. Like generally you want to keep it closed so that you can keep it controlled and provide this reliability. And now we're moving into a space where software defined programmability, opening up APIs, creating SDKs, building a community around it so that we can drive this more of this innovation. And, and that's the really incredible part we're at now. I, I, Christian, final comments from, from yourself. You know, this is a real dynamic industry. It's changing so fast. Is your, is your hope that the TIP Academy will, will match that and, and will reflect the changes in the industry as we move through this disaggregation journey? Yeah, uh, it's, it's both my hope and my conviction it's going to happen because we work with the community. So the organizations, the operators who are actually deploying and creating the demand for the new solutions, they're also providing the input for the curriculum. And of course we have the thriving uh, vendor community that also has an interest for this to be created because it facilitates the uptake and deployment of their products. So I'm convinced it will be an integral part and we need to keep it in mind as we explore new areas for TIP to engage in. Well, best of luck with this because this is an absolutely great endeavour. Christian, Jefferson and Iago, thank you all very much indeed for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Our pleasure.